Hey everyone, I spent so much time blogging about the new Howard Terminal spreadsheet. Really, it's not new. It's uh, something I've worked on since 2017, but this is the newest version of it that I forgot to make a video blog about it. So I thought I'd make this first cut and then make subsequent vlogs and live streams down the road. Not too far. So anyway, here is my creation. The Oakland Athletics Ballpark at Jack London Square Howard Terminal spreadsheet. And I'm gonna walk you through it. These are the stadium revenues. Now, these are inputs that have been in written documents for some time. Some I adjusted. I didn't have input from the athletics for this, although Dave Caval is aware of the first cut because I sent it to him on April 4th of 2017. So you see we have naming rights here, naming rights revenue anticipated to be 200 million. I had anticipated a naming rights split, some for the athletics, some used for stadium construction, that's common. Uh, sponsorships at 150 million, excuse me, 1.5 billion. <laughs> long day. Uh, no stadium share, as you can see, with another team. It originally, in, in Major League Baseball alone anticipated $100 million, along with Athletics anticipated contribution of $100 million to start. Their contribution is actually greater than that. Uh, but that's their cash contribution. Uh, total sweep revenue, which you can see, is anticipated to be almost a billion dollars over a 45-year period. Total Ticket revenue, $246 million. P total seat PSL revenue, $140 million. Percent sold, 80 Total concessions revenue, $100 million, $100.8 million, actually, over that 45-year period. It's really 45 years. I adjusted it. So this uh, is actually 45 years now here. Ticket PSL revenue the average is here four thousand dollars. I think they can really reduce that to almost nothing, given what you're about to see. Stadium capacity estimates for the athletics thirty five thousand, of course. Average ticket payments per person for the life of the bond eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Average ticket payments for the season, as you can see. Number of suites, 150, average $150,000 per season. 90% sales assumption over 45 Major League Baseball seasons. There. Um, Total sweep revenue for over 45 years is there. Keep saying 40, but I, you would say, why did I change it to 45? It's because the bond issue, the bond issue years can go up to 45 years, whereas when I first built it, the limit was at 40. So there are going to be a lot of references to 40 year, 40 year bond rather than 45 years. Um, so that's what was going on with that at the time. And um, so we have 300 rooms here. I didn't bump it up to 400, I left it at 300 for absorption purposes. You can look at the details later. I'm not gonna walk you through all of them. Stadium retail components. And let me take you down to the, the nitty gritty, as they say. There's parking revenues calculated here. We have a total stadium, hotel, retail parking revenues. And then we have construction costs here. Total revenue available. We have the cost over 45 year period, the net profit cost. Operating revenue of 45 years, not for construction, 3 billion. The Operating costs estimated to be 562 million. The net profit, 2.535 billion.
tax revenue from the project. This is not all the taxes. I'm going to expand this as I go along. But the transient occupancy tax, 35 million. Sales tax revenue, 8.5 million. Total tax revenue, 44 million for this run. So then we'll go over to the other aspect of the, the spreadsheet. And that is here. This long area concerns the bond issue. We start with a tax rate at 1%, the construction year, as you can see, which goes down to 45 years, really a 46, 46 year stop to because we started zero, basically, um, with respect to the tax, inc tax increment financing. And then we move over. New assessed value from construction that consists of the stadium at 1.5 billion, new hotel as well, and developer fees and administrative costs. That's the district assessed value. There's a tax increment. The assessed value of growth is assumed to be 4% for this start, which is really low. The average rate of growth in historically for that area, Howard Terminal Jock London Square has been 7%. And there's a TIF revenue and two cuts. This is basic, starting at 832,000. And then at the end of the period, here at 100 million, we have a total of 1.683 billion. And if we break out the property tax base year revenue, that's here at 20,814,250, which would yield 957 million at the year end. So a portion of that that belongs to the county of Alameda, that's 15%, that's here, or 3.122 million. See so that the percentage broken out. Now if we combine the base year with the TIF revenue, we get this. Why do this? Because if we were to bond only with this, we would have to wait 19 years to have a substantial flow to bond against unless we do a kind of serial bond measure and we wouldn't get as much bang for the buck as if we had convinced the county and the other taxing agencies, BART, AC Transit, the school district, City of Oakland, to let us use this total and combine them to get this, right? That's the total tax increment finance revenue with base. And uh, as you can see, highlight that with base so we adding the base here so we start off with that as opposed to this see the difference quite substantial isn't it when you start earlier and floating a bond issue okay this is the alameda county increment share that's at uh, the 15 percent of the tax increment from this Okay. The debt coverage ratio was two. The debt coverage ratio is the amount of money that you are going to use from revenue versus the debt. So in other words, if you have $3 of revenue or $4 of revenue, you're only going to use $2 of that revenue to cover debt. It's a way of protecting yourself, you see. That gives you your bond capacity. So the bond capacity here is N9, which is here. That's N9 times the 45 year period, which gets you that. This means that we can start here and use this stream right here or bond issue, okay? Of if we use if we use this only, and we just use this for forty-five years, there's our bond issue 
okay? And so the formula there is that 20 million times 45 divided by the debt coverage ratio, which is two, which just gets us that. And so each year this goes up because this goes up. See? And so you can see how our bonding capacity increases. So you can do a great set of systemically released bonds to capture this potential. I stop it here at almost two billion. With about 10 years to spare, as you can see, we go down, okay? So the end result is this little area of information down here. New A's Stadium, right here. Estimated sense value of other projects is zero. I didn't add in the $12 billion final build out because that's iffy. Uh, it's better to have different scenarios and have different wish lists or different menus of what you can afford based on what is about to be built because that's going to change your increment. The total tax increment finance revenue for the community is one billion two hundred thirty-eight million. But if you include adding the taxing agencies, as I mentioned a bit earlier, that number jumps to two billion one hundred and ninety-five million dollars. So as I've said before, and I'll say again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or send me a text. I'm happy to address them. And this is a work in progress document that is constantly being updated to stay current with the project. This is the latest version of a spreadsheet that I originally built for my conversation, phone conversation with then new Oakland Athletics President Dave Caval on April 4th, 2017 at four o'clock in the afternoon. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube, bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and the link, the live link, to this spreadsheet is in the description and the blog post of this video. Thank you.